Hi, welcome back to my channel. Um, so, sorry I haven't been around in a while. Um, literally just been stressed and uh, didn't um, record anything. So, you know, here we are. Um, so, I did want to do just kind of like a really simple video today. And um, I've been watching a lot of like TikTok Dollar Tree haul videos. Um, I know it sounds weird, but it's like people have been finding such good stuff at Dollar Tree. And like in the past, I've gone there and I found really good stuff, but I'm not sure if it's the one that's near me that's just not as good. But <laughs> I hit up a different Dollar Tree and I was able to get a lot of good stuff. And I wanted to share it with you guys today in case you guys are interested in maybe it's something you're looking for, then you'll know that the Dollar Tree has it. Um, I bought way too much, so let's just start with that. Um, I got really carried away because I was like, oh my gosh, I never go to this one and I probably don't want to drive all the way over here again. So I'm going to just buy everything humanly possible. That's what I did. So let's get into it. So the first thing, I divided up all my stuff. Like, you know you've gone wacky at Dollar Tree when you have to divide your things into separate bags um, by category. <laughs> so this first thing I got is I got, let's see, I got four packs actually of rope. This like let me get it up here, like this thick uh, rope. So I was thinking like maybe a decorative basket because I have a lot of baskets, as you know, um, that I can maybe make it more decorative with these like ropes and make it look like, you know, more high end. Um, so I bought these because I never see them at the Dollar Tree, <laughs> quite frankly. And I think if you bought them at Michael's, it would be a lot more than a dollar. So I got four sets of those. Um, I think it's just with me, I'm like, I just want to craft and I like having a lot of miscellaneous things. Now this, literally don't have an idea for it, but, um, I feel like this would come in handy because there's been a lot of times where I maybe need something held together. So they're like little clamps for crafts. Um, again, like their crafting section is getting really bomb, you guys. Like, it's like doing so much better than it was. So I found these and I didn't see them in my local Dollar Tree. I mean, the other one's local, but like further out and I don't feel like driving that far, especially during quarantine <laughs> or during all this stuff. Like we're opening up in case you guys are wondering, we're opening up and we're wearing masks and the yada yada, but it's like, it's a lot of effort to go out. So I feel like if I'm going to go, I'm going to make it worth it. So clamps back to those. I feel like if you're trying to hold something down or you're trying to like tack something up, this would be really handy. So, I mean, I think it's a good idea. I think I'll be able to use them. I also bought an apron because um, I am like ridiculously messy a lot of the times. Um, so I felt like, you know, maybe this would be nice if you're painting or something like that. And you don't want to get paint on your clothes. So, and it's in a very bright kind of awkward yellow, but you know, it's Dollar Tree, so I'm not judging it too harshly. Um, I also found this, which actually, I really didn't need these. As you know, I have an obscene amount of highlighters. Um, and so this is kind of like a problem on my end, but it said they were erasable. I was like, I've never even heard of such a thing. Erasable highlighters? Okay, I'm sold. I'm just going to try them out. So, um, so there's that. <laughs> I don't need them. I have tons of highlighter. But I mean, mine aren't erasable, so it's different. Sponge brushes for projects, or if it's good if you're doing like Mod Podge and stuff too. So there's that. I found like the, this size, like, I mean, I found different sizes. So I, I got a bunch. There's that. And then I got also these like chunkier brushes. Just I feel like it would be good for like if you're doing a stim, um, a stippling. I was like trying to think of the word stippling type of design. Then it might be good for this type of brush. Um, oh my gosh. And these are super cute. Okay. These are paper clips. <laughs> but they have little pom-poms on them and they're super cute. I literally didn't need these. A lot of the stuff you're going to hear me say I didn't really need it. But at the same time, I'm like, wow, this is so cute. And like, I feel like it would just add something to my office situation. Like, I feel like if I had something with a paper clip on it look like this, I would be like, that's adorable. I can't. Um, so there's that. They also had like little notebooks. This one's got little pineapples on it. It's like a gold foil. Just really cute. I feel like I could make tons of notes in this. And I don't know. It just was really nice and cute. So, you know. 
it's like Dollar Tree is like the only place where you can be like, oh my god, I don't have that much money, but I'm balling today, you know, like if you get all this stuff. Anyway, um, a paint roller because I actually need to paint my doors. <laughs> so, um, there's uh, spots where the cat scratched and like the paint chips. So I need to go back over it and try to fix that. So I actually did need that. Um, and then this, I have a, um, an X-Acto knife already. Like that's the brand of it. But I thought this would be kind of cool because this comes with, it's like another X-Acto knife. So like you have a backup and then it also has different size blades, which mine just has one blade. So I was like, oh, that's kind of cool actually. So, and the fact that they're selling an X-Acto knife, insane. So, I mean, these always come in handy for crafts. Um, also, like, I had an idea with this. I don't know if it's going to be executed properly, but I was thinking about using these sequins into, like, a nail art design, but kind of, like, look to look like scales, you know, um, like for a mermaid type of thing. So I was thinking about doing that. So I saw these and I thought that was cool because I was like, oh, they're really pretty colors too. So I could try to make that work. Um, worst case scenario, they do have holes. So you could actually st stitch them onto something too. All right. And then I have two other things in my craft bag. Um, there is more. <laughs> this is like a metallic marker. So I've bought the Sharpie ones in the past. And um, I mean, they worked really well. And there was nothing wrong with them or anything. But I mean, they're kind of getting dried out now. And I like them if you're trying to write on something, like make it a little more fancy, then it's kind of nice to have like a more metallic marker. Um, so that's that. And then I also got a chalk writing one that's in hot pink, just because the chalk ones I'm getting are kind of running out. And I figured like, why not have a hot pink one? That's fun. Um, so there's that. Um, I'm probably gonna say there's that a lot. That's just because I don't know what else to fill this space with. Anyway, that's me. So this is the next big section. I spent a lot of money here um, on this <laughs> on this stuff. And the reason being that I want to make some videos coming up about like testing out some Dollar Tree stuff. Um, and I had some ideas. So I was like, now that I got ideas, let me just like, you know, buy everything. So I bought these banana clips. These actually weren't open initially. I opened them. <laughs> so um, because I remember having these as a kid and I remember liking them and I didn't even know they sold these anymore. So I went and bought some and it's a three pack for, hold on. It says four. I think I dropped one somewhere. <laughs> um, there's probably one more hanging out. This is what happens when you don't, when you open the package and you just kind of fool around with it. Um, so yeah, there's four of those in there for a dollar, which is amazing. I saw on TikTok and it gave me a really good idea about getting these silicone mats and you get this for like when you're doing your hair straightening tools um that you can put it on the desk and then that way it's not like burning anything um because i have it to hang up later but once i'm actually like using it and i'm like putting it down it doesn't always stay right side up because it's kind of curved so if it fell on this then i wouldn't be as concerned because it's made for hot stuff gosh look a mermaid tail bath bomb a cactus bath bomb this is a dolphin, I believe. Yes, it looks to be a dolphin. Oh my gosh. These are all bath bombs they sell there. A buck, but they're huge. So I'm like, okay, spa night. Sold. I got this fun, like, um, headband here. Or like a hair tie. That's kind of fun. It's got like a little watermelon on it. Fun summer vibes. Um, I got these because I found... Our, I found another YouTuber's channel. I'll link her below. She has these D uh, Dollar Tree nail ideas and she was using these like little wedges to um, the cosmetic wedges to go in and actually make like an ombre pattern. And I was like, oh my God, that's amazing. I need to do that. What? So, um, but she does like all her like acrylics and everything, like her faux acrylics, like from the Dollar Tree. It's amazing. I'll link her channel. I was like floored at how good it looked and um and all the different nail art she does but like she was using these quite a bit so i was like okay need to get those um i bought two of these because i couldn't make up my mind <laughs> so you got a makeup removing wipe and then you just have a regular facial cleansing wipe but like i mean they're so cheap and i i don't try to use these often even though i bought two packs of them and it looks like an otherwise like i'm lying situation um but i do like to have them in the the drawer of my vanity because sometimes if you're doing like a makeup look and then like the um eyeshadow like falls on your face or whatever then you can clean it up 
or if you have any messes. So that's what these are going to be used for. Um, oh, we got another pack of wedges. Um, oh, I bought this to try because right now I have the Sally Hansen like top coat stuff that's supposed to be really good. Um, and it works good, but I feel like it takes a long time to dry, even though it says Insta Dry. So, I mean, I figured it wouldn't hurt to try this $1 brand one that's also a quick dry. It's a bigger bottle, too. So I'm going to try it out over my polish and see if it actually does compare to, um, Sally Hansen. So then the next items, let me, trader I was seeing was, looked so bomb, like, and it's a big, package quite frankly for a dollar um but people were like this is amazing and I was seeing swatches of it and I'm like I'm sold like I need it but the other makeup I didn't really need so it's kind of anyway um but I figured I would try to do a look and worst case scenario like I get some new products that might be good I don't know you know so I bought oh here's the other banana clip okay I was like, it says I have four. Where did four? Okay, so these two colors, like if you look at them on here, I feel like they look almost identical, but one says medium, one says light. So it's hard for me to tell. Um, they're BB creams. So I think what I'm going to do is kind of mix these two if I need to, to find like the right color. Um, and that way, I mean, since they're only a buck a piece. So this will be for my foundation. I've got... A concealer that looks way too dark but again we're working with only Dollar Tree stuff so if it's wrong it's wrong and worst case scenario I'll just find someone else to use it um, or maybe I could use it like just for regular concealer but not under the eye concealer anyway we'll try to use it so there's that that's an elf brand one I already showed you the highlighter I found a lip gloss here that's kind of like a reddish color with some glitter so I was kind of excited to try that out um, the brow pencil there's that with like a little, um, oh my gosh, a little brushy thing on the end. Um, so I'm going to try to use that as well. I'm not sure if that brow pencil is going to be the right color, but my hair is really, my eyebrows are really light, so I think it should work. They also had setting spray there, and this is a really good size, so if it works well, it would be like good to put in your purse, you know, when you're wearing a full face. Um, also... I got this eyeshadow palette. They didn't have a lot of eyeshadow palettes there, so I was kind of disappointed, but this one's got some neutrals and a little bit of blue-purple, so I'm going to try to test that out um, and see how that looks. I feel like, if nothing else, the neutrals might be nice to use. Um, and they had this, which is mascara called Beauty Benefits. I wasn't actually going to get mascara there because they had a Wet n' Wild one that I already own, so I was just going to use that. But then I'm like, well, maybe I should try this one out and see if it's any good. And then that way it's a legit, like, all Dollar Tree makeup video. Like, I'm not cheating. Um, so that's the products we're going to use for that video. That's coming up. That's not a today video. Um, also, I found more bath bombs. Don't, I mean, I really love bath bombs. Like, I'm not going to lie. And I was buying them somewhere else and, like, on Amazon or whatever, and it was super expensive. Like, this is a three-pack for a buck. This one's a three-pack for a buck. This is watermelon and aloe, and this is cucumber and aloe. They smell really good, from what I can tell. I also bought this nail polish. This one's sassy and chic, but it's kind of like a lightish green, which I think will be good for my, like, light pastel rainbow look I want to go for on my nails. Look at these fun tweezers. They're kind of like a really fun color. I actually needed more tweezers. Like, what the heck is this? Bath and Body Works, who? Like, they're selling, like, the, like, lotion that you get for the aromatherapy there. And it actually smells pretty legit. Um, this is the la uh, lavender and chamomile, like, the one for going to sleep. So, it's like, I'm just curious to try it because, like, I pay, like, $13 for those lotions. And if I can get it for a dollar gone bath body works i'm sorry like i can't afford you anymore um so we're gonna take a 10 second break and then we're gonna come back because i got more i gotta clean up my mess okay everybody okay i'm back you guys i had to like pick up the stuff because i kept putting it back in the floor and i'm like okay i can't even see my other stuff because it's covered with more stuff it's a real problem i'm gonna zoom back in here a little bit that we have a little more crispy background okay so <laughs> more profesh um, so anyway, I also got this. I love wind chimes so much. Um, and I'm a sucker for them. So I already have two, like in different parts of the house. But I was thinking about adding one more because they had a bamboo wind chime. 
so which I've never seen there before so I'm like okay buying it sold um also I found some little bulbs that look like or this type of flower they looked really pretty and I was trying to see if maybe I could plant them in a pot outside maybe and see how they look but I mean it's worth a try they just looked really cool uh, they had tons of books for like Sudoku and puzzles and stuff. So I don't know if anybody else is into that. I'm kind of an old lady and I love it. But so I bought one of this. I didn't need large print, but they come in large print. <laughs> um, but I was like, it's kind of nice though, if you want to put the extra numbers in there um, with your pencil or whatever, you have more room to write. So that's kind of nice, actually. Um, so large print might be nice after all. Um, I found this, which is a dressing cup. It's a little squishy and then that way if I'm packing my lunch I could put like some condiments or whatever in here. Gift bags. I don't know if you guys have been buying gift bags there or not but their gift bag selection is so nice. Okay so there's that. There's this one. I mean freaking cute. Okay there's this one. I'm trying to show them but I'm also like partly off camera. Okay there's that. I mean, so freaking, okay, and I really like this one with the marble on it. Like, who is she? Okay, so I bought a bunch of those just because I feel like people's birthdays are always coming up. They're all girly bags, unfortunately, but um, I was just like, these are so stinking cute. And I feel like you can always use gift bags because people are always like having freaking birthdays, you know what I mean? So, which is awesome. We want people to have birthdays, but I'm just saying, like, that happens all the time, all year round. Um, and then also my nephew's graduating, so college, so got him a graduation card. So I got that prepared. Uh, let's see what else. Um, and then also maybe in the drawer in the bathroom. I haven't decided yet, but I really like this style because they fit in a drawer really nice. Um, so I feel like I should just get them to hold on to if nothing else because I know I'll have a project for them. And then after my last video of me doing my own nails, I was like, you guys, I really need to upgrade my situation for what, for putting my hands in water. Cause I was like, it looks so ridiculous, but like, that's what I've been doing for so long. Cause I'm just cheap, but I'm like, you know what? I did a video about spa days at home in my girls budget night video or budget budget girls night video there we go that's what it was called um and I was like you know I had researched that they had these dish pan buckets there and I'm like this fits your hands so much better you can put, you can even put two hands in you know and so both hands at one time and I was like it's only a dollar like why don't I go get one so I saw it in there and I'm like I'm gonna buy it or you can even do your feet too if you want it but I have like a foot thing so I'm not as worried about that but I mean, you could soak your feet in here. You could do all kinds of stuff in here. So I was like, okay, it's a dollar. I mean, worst case scenario. I mean, that's how much I spent. And then lastly, I got these. These are more practical, so it's not as exciting, but it's just those things that go on like jars and stuff so you can unscrew them. Cause I feel like I had one, but I don't know where it went. So this is a four pack for a dollar. Um, so that's kind of a practical, boring item, but either way. so. That's it, you guys. I, I that was a huge haul. Like I don't normally spend that much at Dollar Tree, but unless I'm planning something or doing an event or something. But I felt like they just had so much good stuff. Like I feel like they're really bringing it now versus like before. I feel like it also is dependent on your area too, because the one near my house is not great. Like I found maybe a quarter of this stuff there, and then the rest was at the other one. Um, but I mean, I guess it just depends on your area too and what they get in stock. But um, we happen to have a lot of Dollar Tree, so I technically could have gone around more. Ended here. Um, anyway, uh, I probably won't have a ton of more haul videos. I don't tend to do those very much because I don't really go around spending a lot of money. But I don't know. It's right now just Dollar Tree's popping. I just felt like I needed to share that with you guys in case you haven't been there in a while. You really should. So um, anyway. I will head out. I'll be looking for my Dollar Tree makeup video coming out soon. Um, and I think I might do like maybe a Dollar Tree spa night because I have the bath bombs. I have some other stuff or like D maybe a DIY spa night situation. We'll see how it goes. But anyway, uh, thanks for checking back in with me. And uh, now that we're back on, back on schedule, hopefully. And uh, thanks for watching. Bye.